Hey guys, it's Lena from the Land of Gods and we are doing the weekly reading for the sign of Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus from 18th till the 24th of April. Please remember these are general reading times, fluid and energies can be reversed. So please take what resonates and leave the rest for others to receive. If you are here for the first time, welcome aboard. Welcome to my channel guys. And if you've been kind enough to come back, thank you so very much. Welcome back. Everything that you guys do for this channel, whether it's a like, a share, a sub, a comment, everything matters and makes a difference. So thank you for doing so and making a difference. And last shuffle, we are ready, Geminis. Gonna look into the challenge that might present itself this week the advice from the universe there we go we have the challenge and the possible outcome if the advice is followed clarify all of that and wrap up the reading with an oracle guidance message the uh, oh, whoa too many okay and nice let us see two of wands i see two of pentacles here let us see we are at the crossroads trying to contemplate something trying to figure out which way to go what to do what is the challenge the tower ouchie hmm this actually feels like tower gemini something happened unexpected seems like not necessarily in your favor at this point in time it feels tower is always in our favor this is divine's way of cleaning shit up for us making a new path for us but it does not feel pleasant to say the least when it comes to the tower moment this is something sudden that has completely steered your life in a direction that you were not expecting whatsoever queen of pentacles we gotta really keep our head stable this is a very sensitive time for some i feel this could be losing a job for some i hear you need to really be mature about dealing with it keep your cool i hear use your words carefully you might land up saying some harsh words in the heat of the moment because you do not know what the hell happened we need to be a little more cautious this gives me a lot of caution be careful what you say keep a tab on your emotions temper anger you might land up saying something that you might regret later if you do not keep a hold and be mature about dealing with this tower moment and yes seems like as i said there is this crossroads where we are the two of wands a place where we are leaving and a place where we are headed Things look different on the other side and we are just trying to figure out how to go about this. If you see in this card, there's the storm and the ship is wrecked or almost about to. Nobody knows if, if the storm is going to swallow it. It seems like it almost is swallowed, but whether it would survive or not, nobody knows. Who knows? It's all about the luck and we are trying to think about things in a rather tensed situation this feel tensed though i see six of pentacle as i said eventually you will see that it happened for your higher good that is always always the case when it comes to these tower moments but it takes time for us to realize that or it to start showing in our 3d world so when the tower is happening it feels rather shitty tower spirit in the challenge
Nine of Cups. Dang. Hangman. Hermit. Queen of Swords. Wow. With Tower. You thought this is it? You thought, oh my God, my dream job. Oh my God, this is the best relationship I've ever had. Oh my God, this is the best time of my life. Clearly not on stable grounds it was. You were in some kind of denial. That's the reason you've been put upside down to look at your life in the light of this event. Why this happened? If you thought that it's like your dream come true or it's your dream thing or whatever, that means either you got complacent, you got stagnant, you got lazy, or you were in denial that this was actually your dream come true. There's a lot of thinking that is needed, but we are not doing it, are we? No, we are not. With Queen of Swords standing in the challenge, we need to, but we are not. We are right now in a rather shaky headspace. Not thinking whatsoever. I think we are in a shock at this point in time as to that this happened. Queen of Pentacles. I am very, very interested in the advice. We need to know because this feels like completely shaken as if it's just happened we do not know what to think we do not know where to go we do not know what to do yeah i see some beautiful cards right there what do we have death finality is there anything that flipped no death and sun with queen of cups and strength my god look at that do you see this you might have Fire in your charts, guys. Very, very strong Leo energy right here. The sun and the strength with the queen of pentacles, with maturity and inner strength, you can deal with anything in life. And probably this is being done to you. It's not done to you that you feel. It is done for you. You would eventually be like, thank God it happened. There is something coming to a complete end a finality death standing here we need to deal with all of that very very maturely we need to ground ourselves here we are completely shaken in shock not knowing what just happened yeah we're just frozen in the moment just in shock standing there and we gotta come back. We gotta come back. Claim our sense in some ways, you know. Come back to our senses. Just snap out of that brain freeze. Sun being there just tells me that, as I told you, you know, tower happens always for our good. It always happens for good. And this feels like eventually... Yes, you will realize that it happened for our good. But there is a sense of finality here with that death card. The way you were going about whatever that you were going, as I said, you could have become complacent. You stop putting in the effort. This could be a relationship as well. You stop putting in the effort and it just, yeah, that's it. With two queens sitting there, the poise of the queen and the maturity and the intelligence of the queen and that inner strength, you being the queen or the king, whatever, do not go with the gender, but the status and the mentality is what is going to push you through this dark times towards the sun. You really need to watch out your temper. I'm taken to that again and again. You might land up burning yourself or someone else with your sharp tongue while you are in this mode, not knowing what has happened. That is the reason poise and control is needed to deal with this finality. 
two of pentacles coming up with the four of cups see that's what i'm telling you with the queen of wands there yes this is finally figuring out where to go dealing with the pain of course it's gonna be painful it's not easy is it none of the tower moments ever that i have seen in my life or anybody else's has been easy or the blow was like softer nah -uh. eight of cups yeah we are moving we are moving forward with that king of pentacles look with the queen of pentacles sitting here and the king of pentacles be assured that whichever direction that you are heading towards is having a lot of abundance even though it feels like you have lost what your dream to come true was with that nine of cups in the challenge the sun sits here in the advice that is your angels telling you that you might have thought this is your dream come true but it, it wasn't for your highest purpose and there is a bigger dream out there for you to dream and achieve with the three of cups the four of cups that cup is coming to you this contemplation this is what i see this is the future where you going to be and you will come to a point where you will have to choose and to make this choice as well we would need that poise and calm of the queens right there we have the third queen coming in here the queen of wands to put our plans into action to have that courage and bravery to take this new cup new chance taking that chance in life again you might need help which is absolutely fine you might need more people you are moving away once you realize yes closure everything well look we are moving away from this and i feel this shock is where you are right now because once you are over with that shock once you are out of that brain freeze i think the realization will set in sooner than later and you will be able to move away from this sense of loss or grief and i feel this is going to be rather fast when you would want to put things into action again and try and take that chance take that cup bigger better chances are going to come your way is what i feel let us get you an oracle guidance message okay last shuffle spirit could you please be so kind and show us the oh look at that i couldn't even finish saying what i was trying to say archangel gabriel message of creativity and hope look at that beautiful you are protected gemini's you are that tower moment is the deeds of your angels for your higher good definitely archangel gabriel he speaks to you through your heart and soul gabriel which means god is my strength that strength card coming in here yeah connect with your angels go within connect stay calm i'm told again and again gabriel which means god is my strength guides hopeful parents in fertility and child conception giving them courage and strength he is the angel of communication and arts inspiring and motivating you in your creative pursuit his presence offers enthusiasm and encouragement in creative fields he guides artists authors musicians and dancers to reach their full potential and live their purpose this is what i'm saying this tower moment has happened because you were not living up to your full potential and it had to happen because you got complacent and now that the tower moment has happened and you are right now in shock but you would soon realize that what happened here and you are going to reach out towards your son you are going to leave things behind you are going to put your plans into action to reach your potential your full and highest potential yes 
If you work with children personally or professionally, you will find Gabriel by your side with loving guidance and support. The affirmation here is, I follow the guidance of my heart. And on that note, my Geminis, I'm going to take your leave. I thank you all for joining me. It's a wrap. Namaste from the land of gods.